All right. Today I would like to demonstrate on how to replace the reset uh, chips for the uh, Konica Minota Bishab 654754. Um, this is a used drum, so usually the the OPC still has life, and if you would like to save some money, you can change the uh that chip so you can reset and we sell that uh just uh show you this one is for yellow so we will replace the yellow chip so you can uh bring this back to 100 percent um usually uh two cycles um for the opc um this will be used twice um at least twice depending on your environment depending on uh, your usage but if you think uh, the the drum is still in good shape and you would like to um, reuse it um, but it's your machine is telling you that uh, it is zero um, what you can do is just purchase one of these uh, and this one is for yellow and you just replace the the um, the chip so to do that uh, this is the, the the drum side this is the developer unit connected to the uh, to the drum uh, inside here if you're looking at the drum at the bottom you um, open this uh, paper you just have to unscrew this and do the screw right here um, the bottom See this if you can see. so what we will do is uh unscrew it this is to separate the the developer from uh the drum unit then we have a um, few screws here we have five screws one underneath the uh uh the uh, toner um pipe right here uh, i i removed this one right here already so you just have to remove uh the screws let me just uh do this here really quick So after doing that, the reason why we want to separate the developer from the drum because if you will not do that, you cannot pull the, the plastic. We need to pull this plastic so we can access to the, the chip uh, underneath. So if we separate this like that, then we can, we can pull this plastic so we can have access to the, uh, the chip right here. Um, let me see if you can see it. Um, let's see. All right. It's right here. If you can see it. Right here. So, what we need to do is we just have to pull this out. Um, unplug the... Uh, the wires connected to the the chip and we just have to release the the chip by um, usually we can you can pry it gently let me just do this my end here okay all right or slide it and this is the the used one now what we will do is open the new one let 
then uh, connect to the you can see the connector right here it's have to slide it Okay, it's just it's awkward position here. It's just it's not sliding. In a second here. And, uh, all right, so it's in. And what you need to do is um, inside of the the unit you can see it um, you just have to reposition the the chip in between the the plastic like that then uh, after that uh, make sure everything is in place And um, just putting everything in back in place, just slide the plastic cover. Then uh, just Turn the the screws. And right here at the bottom, um, the first screw that we took off earlier. This one is holding the um, the developer and the drum unit. All right, so as simple as that. So you um, check everything. All you do is put this back to your machine, and everything should work fine. Thank you.